All right, leaders. So when you think about all the different initiatives and opportunities that you could take time, your time and invest in, I mean, there are any number of them. So if you're a leader and you're saying, man, I'm really have a business. I'm trying to start a business. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. There's tons of things you could do. Like, so you could start a business. You could write a book. You could start a blog. You could be on a podcast. You could, you know, start getting your public speaking things together. Start trying to do your YouTube. Like there's any number of things that you could do that would potentially move your leadership, move your organization, move your entrepreneurship, move your ideas forward. But in reality, this is where the problem lies because all of these things here, what we say is these represent things that you that you can do and they're great. Like there's nothing wrong with any of these. And if we had infinite time and infinite resources, we would want to do all of these. But the reality is that we don't have infinite time and we don't have infinite resources. And so of all the things that you can do, you want to identify what is the one thing that you must do. What's the one thing that you must do? Out of all the things that you can do, what's the one thing that you must do? It is, it is pivotal, it is necessary, it is critical for you to do this one thing. And what you have to do in order to get to that one thing is you have to understand the power of constraint. That's what, these, that's what this represents. It's the power of constraint. As you saying, as you begin to say no, as you begin to say, you know what, these are my priorities, this is what I can do, this is what I cannot do, and really narrowing down your options, recognizing that if I just do this one thing, it will move my business, my leadership, my organization, my church, it'll move us further, faster. Now, the reality is that all of these things that you can do, they present themselves as opportunities, but in reality, they're really distractions. Yeah, they're distracting you from the one thing that you must do. I have been there, if you're a leader, I'm sure you've been there where you're trying to make gain progress in one area and then all of a sudden someone's calling you to come speak here. Someone's calling you to come do this presentation. Someone's calling you to get on this webinar and there's someone's calling you to join this podcast. And all, while all these things are great, they're preventing you from actually taking the time, investing the time to do the one thing that you must do. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to take out a clean piece of paper and I want you to start to just list all of the things that you can do. All of the businesses you can start, all of the podcasts you could join, all of the initiatives, the, the ebooks that you could write, start listing all of the things that you, that you can do. And then from that list, I want you to begin crossing off the ones that are really distractions and then identify what is the one thing that I must do. Now this is just in light of your leadership. This doesn't take into consideration that you're also a parent, that you're also a husband or a wife, right? That you're also a child, that you also have responsibilities at school or at work. This doesn't take into consideration any of those things. And so really you could come up with one of these for every domain of your life. As a parent, what are the things that I can do? But as a parent, what is the one thing that I must do? As a spouse, here are all the things I can do, but as a spouse, in order to move my marriage forward, here's really the one thing I must do, right? As, a, as just even in my own Christian walk, as a Christian, here are all the things I can do, but really what's the one thing I must do that will move my spiritual growth forward? And so you wanna do this, and I would encourage you to apply this to multiple areas and multiple domains of your life so that you can have extreme vision clarity around what is the one thing I must do. Check it out, let me know how it goes.